Hey friends, good morning. I just cleansed my skin, moisturized, and I'm using some primer. I'm gonna do a quick five minute base. So primer is a great product to use. Even if you don't wear makeup, it kind of smooths out the pore lines and makes your skin look a little flawless. And then now I'm gonna cover up some of the blemishes I have, my dark circles. I need to order more of this, I'm low. Some of that sun damage that I have, I'm just gonna dab it on and I'm gonna use foundation. When was the last time you washed your brushes? Have you washed your brushes, makeup brushes lately? You should do it every week. Something we don't think about often but we should. They harbor bacteria just like anything else. So I love my CC cream, which is Color Corrector in One, but because I wanted to have a little more coverage today, and I'm preparing as if I was going out on the town. So even though we're in quarantine, how many of you put makeup on on a regular basis? Now you might not put this much makeup on, on a, every day, but I'm preparing you for when we are able to go out so you have to go, you know, you have a date night or you are going to a party or a wedding or something. So you want to cover everything, cover the whole face, the lid, make sure you get close to that lid and we can go back and cover some more if we need to. I said sometimes my little dark spots don't like to be covered. It's my sun damage from all those years of laying in the sun as a kid. I'm blacked up with baby oil and no sunscreen. And how many of you have like, your lips have diminished? I'll show you the trick for that. So as we get older, sometimes the coloring, the pigmentation in our, our lips diminishes as well. So our lips get really small. And sometimes, it, or even you just have small lips, I mean, there's ways. So first thing you want to do is color everything. I'm going to go on my neck a little and smooth it out. Okay, pull these sleeves up. Rinse my hands real quick. So I have a nice, smooth look. Colored, perfect color. I'm going to start with the eyes. And I want you to choose three colors. And it really doesn't make a difference what the colors are. You want a light, medium, and a darker shade. Um, I'm going to play around with this palette. It's one of the holiday lines, and it's really pretty. So I clean my brushes every week because I use a lot of colors. So I'm going to take the lightest color, which is kind of a neutral beige, and it's going to go over the entire lid, getting into that crease, and up on the brow. So you always want your lighter shade to be your highlighter. And you want to keep the lightest in close towards your, your nose and on the brow because light highlights. And that's what we want to make your eyes look bigger. You want them to pop. So that's what we're going to do there. And I'm going to be daring. I'm going to use this red today. I'm going to go on the outer portion. Because again, I want to pretend as if, act as if I was going on a date. It's Friday night, I'm going out to dinner, I'm on a little date with Jason, to our favorite sushi place. I'm just working up into that brow a little bit. Now I am going to take a different brush, a little smaller brush, and I'm going to work in the crease. Now I'm going to use the brown shade. Now I could use that slate, but I'm just going to go. So if you have small eyes and you can't feel the bone or puffy, you're going to kind of create that bone line. So you can see the bone on my eye. You're going to create it. So I'm just going a little higher above that bone and out, kind of making it inward. So I'm going to have a liner there. And you want to do it as neat as possible, kind of creating that C curve. But we can go back and blend some more. So I'm making it C and I'm pulling it in towards my lashes, kind of making a little insert. Now let's get some liner on. So I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I love my brushes and using them. I like using my fingers for foundation, but 
for my eye makeup, I like brushes. Once you get used to brushes, it's hard to go back. So I'm gonna use a little fine brush and I'm gonna wet that same brow color, that I, the crease color, and I'm gonna put it on my lash line as close to the lash line as possible and a little further out. Now when you wet the, the colors, it makes them a little darker, gives them a little more staying power. Now I could totally do liner, liquid liner, I could totally do pencil liner, but working from this palette, so I'm gonna go under the eyes, working inward towards the center. A little more water. You don't want too wet, but you don't want too dry, otherwise it'll flake, and then you have to go back and correct it which we might have to do anyways, because I don't have my glasses on and I'm working away from the, the camera so you can kind of see. Almost done with these. So again, from that middle point out. Because the idea is to make your eyes look bigger, make them pop. Now that same color, I still have a little bit left. I'm gonna go into my my brows because finishing the brows, having your brows, and I'm just drawing it down, kind of creating that illusion. So I'm using the same color, because it's brown, it was a, a neutral brown. And you want your brows to kind of go. So if you were gonna line up, it goes from the tip of your nose to the tip of your eye. So that's how you know where it should end. Just a little tip. Okay, so we're done with that right now. I'm gonna use a different brush. And I'm gonna take some white. And I'm gonna bring it right into that brow one more time. And then inside my crease. All right, I think we're good for right now. Let me show you some contour. So I love bronzer. I love bronzer more than blush. I don't typically wear blush, but I like bronzer because I like having that little look of a, a little tan. So I love the Arbonne bronzer. And you're just gonna kinda put your cheeks in. And right on that cheekbone. And then I'm gonna carry it up into my hairline, make my forehead look a little smaller. And a little more. On the sides of my nose. You want contour to make your face look a little smaller. And I'd say that's about enough. Now this is a pretty big brush. This is probably the one that I would normally use as setting powder. Let's add some mascara. Actually, I'll do that last. Let's show you the lips. So I'm gonna go with a, a neutral lip today because I'm gonna throw on, I used Berry the other day. So you do wanna use a lip liner and you wanna create a fuller lip. So you're literally gonna take that little peak and kind of make an X. And I'm gonna do it from this mirror. And then from that, that X, you're just gonna work down. And then under. Now again, if you have really tiny lips, you're gonna go outside your lip line. You're gonna go a little bigger. Now there's nothing wrong. And then you're gonna fill in. That's a trick. So that when your lipstick wears off, you'll still have some lips. Perfect. Okay, so I have a little bit of lips already. We're gonna add some more. I love the two-in-one. It's a matte and then a gloss. So being that my eyes are a little darker, I'm gonna keep the lips kind of neutral. So this is the matte color. They're great to carry with. They don't melt in your car, in your purse. And then I'm gonna top it with a little gloss because it's very neutral. 
Again, my eyes are darker, so I have to keep the lips neutral. I'm not putting too much on, but that's enough. And then I'm going to take, lastly, this, this palette has white, and it's, it's a great highlighter. So I'm going to take a small, little smaller brush than my other brush, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my brow, or not my brow, <laughs> going on the brow cheekbones well, on the cheekbones on the nose and those brows and I'm just gonna kind of mas massage it all in give it a little hoof pulling in just to kind of smooth it out and mascara and we are done so I love um, it's called speak volumes I need to order a new one I'm about done so you don't want to pump it you do want to twist it so that's what I'm doing right now and I'm gonna have to move let me see, I'll use this one. Again, I need a mirror to put it on. So you want to look down and kind of work from the outside in. And then from the bottom, you want to go underneath and just kind of jiggle it back and forth. Again, this is a little dry. I need to order. Looking up. Now, if you were to use a liquid liner, you want to let it dry. Normally, I'd be looking down into the mirror. But that's it. And I would do another coat. So, for sake of time, there it is. Five-minute face. Have a great day.